Welcome back to the channel then, guys. I'm your host, Judo Sloth. I have a special one today because I purchased the iPad Pro, a $1,000 iPad for Clash of Clans. So let's set it up, see what the gameplay looks like. I have a webcam above me so you can see the entire thing. I wanted to share this with you because it is you that has made this possible. My subscribers watching the videos using code Judo in-game and with my recently launched YouTube membership program. If you do want to join the dojo, you can click the join button on my channel or there is a link in the description. I will have an announcement video for it, but I always try and reinvest into my channel to make the quality of videos better for you. This iPad has a much greater resolution than my previous device, so the gameplay should be a bit slicker, particularly when we are zooming in. So let's set it up and see what it looks like. Before I open up the iPad, we take a look inside and get it set up for Clash of Clans. Let's take a look at the other stuff I needed to purchase to get this to work. Say hi behind the scenes, by the way. This is one of the perks that you could get for becoming a YouTube member, behind the scenes access. First thing I needed to purchase was a new adapter to capture the gameplay. iPad Pro uses a USB-C connector, unlike my iPad 4, which used the lightning connector. I also purchased a new stand. The iPad Pro is significantly larger, hence the better resolution, than my iPad 4 and I was worried my current stand might not support it enough. I purchased a case to protect the iPad, it's expensive, I need to look after it, as well as an ultra-fast HDMI cable. The whole point is to improve the gameplay when capturing it to the computer to improve the quality of the videos. So I need to make sure that the cable can transfer the data as fast as possible so we can ensure the high resolution for the videos. So let's get rid of all of this stuff first, then we will open up the iPad and take a look inside. I figured it would be best to open up the iPad with the above webcam so you could see everything inside. Fortunately, there is this little part that we can open it up from. I was worried I was going to be on forever trying to get the plastic and the cling film off, but this makes it a lot easier. Then once we've opened it up, we can power through the rest. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened. And wow, look at the size of that iPad. Oh my word. You know what? It's pretty light as well, guys. It's not It's not actually too heavy. It's relatively light. Look at the cameras on that. Awesome. Not that I'm going to use it. I literally use my iPad for Clash of Clans and nothing else. Now, I have got the iPhone and I've become used to using the swipe up mechanism instead of the, the home button, which as you can see, the iPad Pro does not have. So looking pretty beautiful there hasn't been charged up or anything as of yet but let's set that aside and let's see what's in the box so i've got the case out of the box one of the reasons i bought this is it had good reviews but also it's very small and smart so the ipad should literally just sit directly in there and also the charging port is not occluded at the bottom look. That's highly important so I can just plug it right in for the videos and it keeps my iPad very nicely protected. Awesome. I should have put this on charge or at least tried to turn it on. Sometimes when you get the device, it does have some charge and there we are. So it actually has 90% charge already. So I don't think I need to get this charged up. Let's just get it going. And let's set it all up. Did you guys know about this? I guess I haven't set up an iPad in a while. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPad to sign in. Well, let's just bring my iPad 4 next to it. Make sure that we've got Bluetooth on, which we do. And it should hopefully allow them to connect up. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Hold your new iPad up to the camera. Position the center of the circle in this one. So let's do that. Oh, there we go. Setting up. Enter passcode of your other iPad. Wow. All finished copying the other iPad, logged me into my Wi-Fi and my account, but did not preload Clash of Clans as my other iPad has. So it's very easy. I can just go ahead, download Clash of Clans, log in via Supercell ID, and we are ready to go. So we have some good news and we have some bad news. The good news is we finally have it all set up. And that's kind of the bad news. It has taken me 
hours and I still haven't managed to get it to its full potential. I just recorded a bunch of footage and realized the audio wasn't working. And that kind of tops it off. You might not be able to see because the light is on, but it's nighttime. It has taken me hours to get this to work, but it looks awesome. Look at when we zoom in, it's still not quite right. Whenever you buy a new device and pull it into OBS, you always need to tweak the settings to get that device to look the best. And I definitely need to tweak the gameplay here, and I still need to do some research on how to display its full potential, because that's exactly why I bought the iPad, and I don't feel like doing a side-by-side -side comparison at this point, because we haven't got the iPad Pro to its full potential. I do feel like I want to do an iPhone versus iPad comparison, because many pro players play on a smaller device, some players play on a big device, there are some differences. So let's do an attack. Let's show you the iPad Pro. I've got to say it is weird. Being this close to the device, it's massive. Maybe I will put a bit of a comparison here, a photo of my other iPad and the new iPad, and you can see just how big it is. It's strange to be sat so close, and also I'm going to have to be careful with the deployment here because I'm not used to playing on a device this big. So we have the E-Drags cooked up. Let's do an attack. I'm not expecting miracles, but we're just going to have fun. This was actually featured in my best Dark Elixir farming attacks, which is in the game right now, and you can find it I'll display it at the end of the video. Also, a massive shout out to the two winners of the wildcard for the World Championships, 11 Original and HT Family. I look forward to seeing them in action, but let's get into an attack. I'll try and be as zoomed in for the gameplay as possible. Also, we have the original clouds. I need to change that in my settings, put the dark clouds on. Happens when you get a new device. So I do want to find a base with a big amount of loot. Well, I'm not going to say that it took as long as it did to set up the iPad because that was relatively okay, about 10 minutes or so, but we have 1 million gold and 1 million elixir, more than that even. I don't know how to take a screenshot on this iPad. I always like to take screenshots of the huge amounts of loot, but we need to get it first because this is a bit of a tricky base, actually. We can come in behind the sweepers, but I'm not sure that we will get that town hall. Ah, what do I do? Okay, why don't we go with the king on one side here? Let's use him around about there. Uh, we might be able to get... Let's try and get the archer tower. Not sure we're gonna get that. But let's go with the RC here as well. Maybe the balloons weren't the best option there. But, well, who cares? Let's use the queen on the other side. Then my idea is to just throw the E-drags all of the way through the center. So let's use the ability. And I want to try and get the single inferno here with the RC. I need to have a conscious effort of being zoomed in. Come on, royal champion. Get that single. Get that single. Yo, my word. That was a little bit of a risk, but it worked out indeed. Now, oh, I'm, I'm a little bit worried that the E-drags are going to split here and not really have the force up towards the top. Let's use the queen's ability. Let's just, let's come in from this angle, actually. Let's go with all of the balloons, all of the E-drags, the Grand Warden, let's go. Let's use one rage, two rage. Let's use the Battle Blimp, Grand Warden's ability early to try and protect the balloons. Battle Blimp moving all of the way through. Will it get to the town hall though? I'm not sure. Oh, we're not going to make it, guys. We are not going to make that. Let's use a rage spell to try and help as we move through. Oh, my word. We are definitely not going to get this one. E-drags might chain to the town hall. That's our only hope. Let's use a rage here. Then let's freeze the scatter shot. Should have probably froze the air defense as well. My E-drags aren't in that rage spell. Come on, E-drags. Get yourselves in the rage. Are they going to chain to the town hall? Or is it going to be a one star? Let's freeze that air defense again. We get the air defense. Yes. Come on, E-Drags. You can do this. Rage spell is down. I'm not sure we're going to get it, though. Are we going to get the town hall? They continue to chain, but they're not going to get it. The king is doing his job to the town hall, but it's going down fast. Oh, they get it. We get the two star against all odds. I thought we were missing that. Coming from the opposite side of the town hall, you always take a bit of a risk. And well, 
It's not the most prettiest of attack, it's nowhere near the three stars, but it does give us over one million loot. I don't know how to take a screenshot. I, I don't know how to do it. Maybe I'll just take a picture of it to share with you guys on Instagram. I guess that's all we can do. Can we figure it out? I Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I'll leave the screen on, see if I can figure it out. If you do want to see the Dark Elixir farming strategies, I have it linked on your screen. Thank you guys so much for the support. It really means a lot. Subscribe button is there as well. I will continue to tweak this, see whether we can get the full potential. That's obviously what I want. And I may bring you another video showcasing once we have got the full potential, a side-by-side -side comparison with the other iPad. But thank you so much for the support. Wanted to bring this to you. There's that Dark Elixir farming video. Thank you for the support. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.